My chess friends, today is a very beautiful day where I am going to show you the speed chess championship game of Magnus Carlsen and Wesley So, Magnus performance is like Alpha Zero but Wesley So is not less than him. I challenge you to let every day be a Friday, permit yourself to be happy every day, Magnus started the game with b3, we have e5 bishop b2 knight c6 and e3, it is called modern variation of Larsen where Magnus can consider these moves, so d5 to control the center, bishop b5 knight e7, here Magnus can play knight f3 to target the pawn, taking advantage of the pinning knight, but he decided to go like alpha 0, he declared that he want to attack in the king side, so after a6 we have bishop e2. Bishop knight exchange wasn't good because you will lose the advantage of having bishop, pair for progressing in king side, two moves later Wesley played f6, it's a mistake in my eyes because now white can strike in the center with e4, try to break the king pawn structure, so white closed the position, knight d2 to play c4 and unguard the e4 pawn, so f5 c4, knight g8 to activate the bishop line and he is looking for a better position for the knight to protect the center. We have center exchanges and knight c3, bishop f7 and there is an amazing tactic with g4, let me show you the variation, after takes we will capture the pawn, the pawn is undefended so bishop c4, white will win up a pawn and after king f1, the position will be very good for white where white enjoys a nice center with king's safety. If people are doubting how far you can go, go so far that you can't hear them anymore, so back to the position, but Magnus missed that move and he played bishop c4, best move for black is to play queen d7, but he chooses to play knight f6, this move gives black a disadvantage for the king, the king is moved up so he can be targeted by white pieces easily, a3, very important move to prevent bishop entry which may create threat to the knights, couple of moves later, we have knight takes e4, sacrificing the knight, if you dare to the knight, let me show you the variation, queen takes g4, you may think of playing rook f8, try to play king f8, but it's too late and too wasting move because white can play d5, knight e7 is the only move to prevent checkmate, so after knight takes e4 knight take pawn, rook g1 will come to target it, rook g8, then knight g5 check will arrive, king backs queen check knight e7 knight takes h7, queen c8 to eliminate the queen but knight f6 will destroy your position. The g pawn can't capture the knight because of rook takes rook and the rest you can imagine, so after king f8 queen exchanges, and after some moves later white will get three pass pawns, a rook for a knight and he will win the game completely. Smart people learn from everything and everyone, average people from their experiences, stupid people already have all the answers, so back to the position, Wesley played rook e8 which is a blunder, best was to play rook f8 to defend his f pawn as soon as possible, so Magnus gets the opportunity to target the pawn, queen d2 to protect the pawn but it's already late for black because white plays the daring move knight g5 check, king backs queen d5 check, the king can't go there because it knight f7 check, he have to play king g8 then white will win up a piece, rook e6 knight takes pawn, queen exchanges and white will get one extra bishop to win the game. You can either experience the pain of discipline or the pain of regret, the choice is yours, so back to the position, we have king f8, knight takes check king ups knight g5, queen f7 is coming so king d8, knight f7 check and if you slide the king, let me show you the variation, white will play knight takes d7, pawn takes knight will lead dark square weakness in the king side, where the white knight have the opportunity to enter the territory, and here. If you dare to capture with the queen then queen takes f5 will lose your knight on g4, so back to the position, Wesley played king e7, knight takes d6 pawn takes d6, Magnus can play knight a4 and knight b6 to create a threat for black, which is a best move also but he played rook g1, mistake move, let me correct his mistake, knight a4 then rook b8, knight b6 queen c7, queen takes f5 knight f6, then white will sacrifice the queen by capturing the knight, take and knight d5 check. White will win back his queen and look at the black position, his weak structure and rooks can't able to stop white's pawn. Magic is believing in yourself, if you can make that happen, you can make anything happen, but in our actual game, Magnus did mistake by playing rook g1, king f8, not bad, they are playing a 2000 elo rated game in front of me, what a shame that I am, the great stockfish analyzing a kid's chess game, 
best strategy for white to play knight e2 h5, then d5 to create an outpost on e6 for the knight, where the dark square diagonal will be open for bishop, h6 will be a permanent threat for black. But Magnus Kidd played knight d5, a wasting move and wasted my time, because now black can capture the pawn on f2, the knight will be under pressure if you capture the knight, but his blunder brother Wesley Human played knight a5, best move for white is to play h5 but Magnus played bishop c3 which is a 1669 elo blunder move, let me explain the variation, if h6 happen then after knight takes pawn, push the e-pawn to target the pawn, and the knight at the same time. No matter what black will play he will lose the game, if knight a5 happen then after doing queen exchanges, knight takes f2, white will push the h-pawn to sacrifice his rook, takes takes, king h8 can't be possible because of knight checkmate on g6, so after king f8 knight f4 will come anyway to destroy black position, rook here then knight g6 check king slides and it will be a checkmate on e7. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great, but in our actual game, Magnus didn't find h5, instead he goes for bishop c3, so rook to e4. Best move for white is to capture the knight, but Magnus watched inferior and dumb Gotham chess video which is why he sacrificed the rook, queen takes d5, now you can't save the rook, let me show you why, queen takes check will arrive, bishop blocks knight c4, checkmate is coming, rook is there to seize the file, white king will be in a very serious problem, so we have rook takes g7, the winning game turned Magnus Carlsen into 180 degree, now Wesley so is completely winning the game. Checkmate is unstoppable, what an ironical situation for both players, Wesley so is a very very lucky guy, he won every games by luck, I think he did some good karmas in his previous birth, so he win the game but Magnus is up 10 points than him, Magnus is going to win the trophy so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.